The crypto space is changing fast, and one of the biggest ideas emerging right now is this concept of generations. We had Bitcoin as a first generation, Ethereum as a second, Cardano as the third, and now, with everything happening around AI, privacy, regulation, and cross-chain tech, we're watching the rise of what could become a true fourth generation of crypto. And right at the center of it is midnight. Lately, everyone suddenly cares about privacy again. Search interest is exploding, prices are reacting, and people are finally realizing that maybe broadcasting your entire financial history on a public ledger forever is not the smartest idea. That's exactly where Midnight, Cardano's new privacy-focused partner chain, steps in. I wanna break down what Midnight actually is, what's real versus hype, how it solves problems no blockchain has solved properly, and why Midnight could be the biggest upgrade to Cardano's ecosystem since launch. And as always, this is not financial advice, just my personal thoughts. Always do your own research. Crypto is going mainstream, but blockchains today are far too transparent for real businesses, institutions, and regular people. Every wallet, every transaction, and every balance is publicly visible forever. Midnight changes this with something Charles Hoskinson calls rational privacy. Public blockchains today offer zero privacy, but Midnight lets users choose what data is public and what stays private, while still staying compliant with regulation. It does this using advanced zero-knowledge proofs. If you're not familiar, here's the simple version. Instead of showing your entire ID to prove you're over 18, you just show a cryptographic yes. The fact is verified, but your underlying data stays hidden. Midnight applies this to everything, transactions, identity, business logic, regulatory checks, and even AI-driven activity. You can prove what you need to prove without giving away everything else. This leads into the second major issue in crypto, identity. Today, compliance depends on centralized companies doing KYC, storing your private information, and controlling your access. Midnight uses decentralized identifiers so you control your identity directly. That means you can verify when necessary, stay private, and never hand over control to a centralized platform. Imagine a large DEX like Uniswap routing regulated trades through Midnight. Midnight verifies what's required privately, and the trade executes without exposing personal data. Regulators get their guarantees, users keep their privacy, and no centralized gatekeepers are involved. The third ma major piece is cross-chain cooperation. Midnight isn't just a Cardano side project, it's designed to interact with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and many others. It uses a dual token model with Knight and Dust. Knight is a public governance token, Cardano native, tradable, and deflationary. It's used for governance, block production, and rewards. Dust represents computation on the network and protects transaction metadata. Dust has value, but isn't used to store value, which makes Midnight compliant and exchange friendly, avoiding the issues fully anonymous tokens face. And because Knight lives on Cardano, all governance, staking, and liquidity flow directly into Cardano's infrastructure. This is where things get really interesting for Cardano. Midnight gives Cardano a real privacy layer for the first time. Cardano's transparent base chain is great for accountability, but not for healthcare, finance, government, or enterprise use cases involving sensitive data. Midnight fixes that, which unlocks new on-ramps for regulated capital and real-world applications. For example, a healthcare dApp could verify patient data without exposing medical records, or a company could transact without leaking business details. This brings the kind of institutional attention Cardano has struggled to attract because it can now offer a public blockchain with privacy and compliance built in. Midnight also strengthens the Cardano network itself. Cardano stake pool operators will secure Midnight's block production, creating more activity, more fees, and more value circulating through the ecosystem. On top of that, the Glacier Drop, distributed across eight chains with zero VC allocation, was designed to pull in users, liquidity, and attention from outside Cardano. That could significantly boost TVL and overall ecosystem growth. And because Midnight is a partner chain, not a separate chain, it can connect to other ecosystems while still settling on Cardano. Imagine a private app that interacts with Bitcoin or Ethereum assets but settles securely on Cardano. The more activity on Midnight, the better it becomes for Cardano as a whole. Another huge point is narrative. For years, people said Cardano was stuck in 2021. Midnight changes that overnight. Privacy is becoming the next big crypto narrative. 
AI is becoming another major narrative and in tense, the way AI agents will execute blockchain actions on our behalf are becoming a massive new frontier. Midnight touches all three. In the future, we won't manually click through apps. We'll tell AI assistants what we want. Find me the cheapest flight, rebalance my portfolio, pay this bill, move funds from ETH to BTC. These are intents, not transactions. But if intents are public, they can be front run or exploited. Midnight becomes a private intent layer that executes a cross chain safely in the AI era. So here's the big picture. Bitcoin gave us decentralized money. Ethereum gave us programmable money. Cardano focused on governance and scalability. And now Midnight aims to bring rational privacy, user controlled identity, cross chain cooperation, and a private intent layer for the AI world. All without the heavy VC domination that held other networks back. If Midnight works the way Charles describes, it could become one of the foundational pieces that allows crypto to scale into mainstream finance and global applications without giving up decentralization or user control. Let me know in the comments below, do you think crypto needs this fourth generation focus on privacy, identity, and cross-chain cooperation? I hope you got massive value from this breakdown. Keep moving forward in everything that you do, and we'll see you in the next one.